we start with Goulburn Valley Suns' trip down the Midland Highway to take on Bendigo City FC. After a scrappy exchange battling for possession, the hosts would get off to an ideal start with Riley Dillon belting in this right-footed shot from outside the area after just seven minutes. <laughs> the Suns were back on level terms by the 25th minute. A measured cross into the area finding Sean Ellis and his header across John Marco Doria in goal nestled in the back of the net. 1-1. The Suns weren't level for long though. A long throw and a good leap from Jason Shade. Getting the better of the Suns defence and finding the back of the net. 2-1 after 28 minutes. The Suns would then get another chance to equalise, sent to the penalty spot. But Ellis would miss, blazing over the bar. <laughs> and it would get worse for the Suns in the 40th minute. You won't see too many own goals scored like this. An attempt to chest back to the goalkeeper, somehow picking out the top corner. Horrendous luck, but Bendigo took a 3-1 lead into the sheds at halftime. And so the Suns would begin their comeback. The halftime team talk still ringing in the ears as Ellis completed his double, making up somewhat for that penalty miss with a left footed shot into the bottom corner. And the game was back level again on 68 minutes. A long ball over the top to Craig Carley, his shot rattling off the woodwork, straight into the path of Ellis who tapped in for his hat trick. <laughs> and with the adrenaline pumping, the Suns would take the lead in the 69th minute. This header not dealt with by the goalkeeper, into the path of young Frank Mariner and the Samoan striker. Put the Suns up 4-3 from close range. That was the full-time score. Plenty of chances after that, but no more goals. Golden Valley winning 4-3. Up next, the mini Melbourne derby as Victory Youth faced City Youth in the NPL for the first time. Victory opened the scoring five minutes before half-time with a brisk counter-attack. George Howard breaking down the left and crossing into the path of Joey Cadabian. As has been customary in his young NPL career, when presented with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, Cadabian is lethal in front of the target. 1-0 to victory in the 40th minute. And five minutes into the second half, Howard and Cadabian were on the same wavelength once again. A deep cross from the left taken down with a nice touch by Cadabian and then a quick right-footed prod, finding the back of the net. Victory up 2-0 via their lethal striker. Melbourne City tried to fight their way back into the game, but Phil Petreski's attempt from this set piece sailed harmlessly over the target. Victory would go in search of a third goal, this cross too close to Yaren Souza, who batted it away. <laughs> Howard nearly had a goal of his own after an errant defensive header. But a spectacular save coming in from Souza saved the day for City. and Katabian would nod the chance at a hat-trick across the face from a second half corner. City would not leave the game empty-handed though. This consolation deep in stoppage time from Wade Decker, a looping header on the end of a free kick, squeezing in at the right-hand post. The full-time score, Melbourne victory two, Melbourne City one. Next up to Kevin Bartlett reserve for Richmond's clash with visiting St Albans Saints. Richmond started the scoring in the 25th minute. Peter Sarwan lashing in this right-footed volley and finding the bottom left corner.
10 minutes later, a precise through ball created chaos for Stuart Webster and the St Albans defence, leaving Jay Kelly with an empty net to shoot into. St Albans would score in the 90th minute, this low free kick from Trent Waterson going under the wall and wrong footing the Richmond goalkeeper Christian Ross. Ross couldn't keep the ball out, but Richmond would hold on to record a 2-1 win. <laughs>